Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher, and today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Flow Leaves from CZT Miranda Gerber. This is just neat. <laughs> and it's not necessarily too hard. Um, I don't know. I, I like. I like the flow of it, and I like that it's leafy. <laughs> it seems like sometimes we um, we don't have enough leafy type tangles, so I this one caught my eye um, for that reason. All right, let's, oh yeah, let's just do it diagonal. Okay, so this one starts off kind of like what we call a fancy, not well, not quite a fancy fescue, so um oh i'll start at the very base okay you know and honestly you can curve this however you want but i'm going to take a little bit of a c shape and then you know we just have it loop back on itself right fancy fescue kind of merges in more it's more of a teardrop shape where this is more of a uh, of an orb and then from, so we have this from the out, I'm calling this the outside. So this is to the left of where we have the loop. So the opposite side of the loop, we'll just say it that way, because you might've drawn it differently. We're going to aura this. And of course you pick the distance and uh, try to keep it a similar distance. That's the game. <laughs> and if you don't, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Oh. Uh, that's why I say it's the game because, you know, we just continue to practice at it and, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. All right. Now, on my version of the step outs, which you will find in the description section, uh, I broke this out because I needed to for me. Um, and even at that, I still was like, wait, this is no, this isn't make OK, now I have it make sense. So here's the thing. You could do this um, kind of in one thought process. It's broken down in the step outs obviously but what i found is after the first time that's like oh okay and then figuring out which you know for uh what miranda has as step three you have to know which one to start with so and here's what i found so we, we did that inside well i'm calling it the inside right then we just did this one and as you come around feel free to then just hollabow another one like that. So coming from what I'm calling the outside, but it's just one of those things where you, you can have this flow very nicely. So like, so for instance, again, so if I was doing that outside, then I would, oh, just hollabow, come on the other side and start another one. So, um, and on the, you know, honestly, you can, you can have this go as long as you want it to go. Um, I'm going to stop it the way uh, Miranda has it in her step out. So then coming back to here and kind of hollow bowing where that would end. Right. And coming around. Oh, actually, you know what? I can do it one more time. Let's let's uh, wing it. Okay. So from that outside, <laughs> I'm going to make it interesting. <laughs> Apparently. All right. And then from this, because I haven't, I haven't honestly tried it more than once, but you know what the heck? And then from this, ooh, I'm not, let me just put a little dot here. Because here, oh, let's see, can I make it, I would need it to go the opposite direction. So that's what's needed is we're kind of flip flopping. And so what she does is it just as a way to finish it off. Let's just do this. So, and it's kind of like a, I want to say, nah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. What she has there in her step three, and I did the same in my, it'd be my step five, is just I made like an S shape, but you could, I'm just going to do it in one stroke here. Oh, I can't even, I can't think because I'm doing it because I've, I've extended it you know, one past what I've been doing it as. All right, let's do this. 
you know, it's this kind of a leaf, leaf E type shape. All right. So what she has, so it comes out and it starts and then you can put as many bumps as you want in the top. It's okay. All right. So we're going to leave that now. And then what she did was, so underneath every loop, come down to where there's, um, I don't know what we call it, that, where it, you know, where it's gone underneath. And we're going to put, let me just do a different one. Ooh, let's just have it merge all the way in there. So like that, that, that kind of a leaf, whatever we want to call that. And so it's kind of like this intersection. That's the word I was looking for. And it doesn't matter how it ends up. Just don't worry about it. I should have turned the tile a little bit more, but I didn't. Okay. They kind of look like, okay, what's in my head is like platypus feet or something like that. I don't know. But, but there we have it. Okay, then on... Now for this one, so this is what's interesting on, th on this, she has us and we we're going this, this direction. Yes. Towards the loop. So this is the only one that she's done this with on that last, on the leaf part, we're going to just aura that just with like a C shape type curve line. I'm going to do about three, just so it's kind of feathered like that and let's see you know and, and take a look at the for more inspiration like i think i can fit one more in here and that'll look neat um so that way you can see it plus from her hand plus all of the neat variations that uh, she shares there underneath just lots of ideas okay then it's like i said this this part is only attached to this top leaf the rest are Here's the loop. <laughs> like, like, wait a minute, let me. Because I've, oh no, this, did we do this on that? Oh yeah, I guess we did. Okay. Like I said, because I haven't, haven't, uh, I've only done it, you know, two loops, not three loops. So I've, you can tell I've thrown myself off. So yeah, so now on, yeah, on the other side. And I don't know that it has to come from here, but, but let's go ahead and do it. So same thing, like a big C shape curve line. This is like, um, oh, there are several tangles that do this. Um, is it showgirl is what's in my head, but there are some others that do the, the same kind of shape. It's almost like a big flux shape. You know, if you were to think of this as being hollow bowed underneath, like, or a big teardrop shape. So this is coming from the opposite side of the, um, of the loop. And really underneath these leaf shapes, but we're auraing like this part. And then, you know, come down a little bit where you start it. And that's all, that's up to you. However many you want to do, how far you want to step those down so that way you can see it looks like an, a neat little fan thing. All right. And the last one. Ooh, I'm only going to fit that many. <laughs> all right. Then... It's essentially, you know, playtime. And so, oh, oh, no, I did put this in my version of the step outs too. Um, just some nice little wispy lines in the base of the leafy part, we'll call it. And she has some really neat um, um, hatching. I always get, I always have to hesitate and make sure I'm having that right. Um, on, it's, it's in her last box, um, where, you know, using the pen as shading, really, really neat. Just take a look at that. Okay. I think that that looks neat. I just cannot resist though, to put, to fill in this, but we're going to put the shine here. Maybe we'll get a little sliver behind it. We'll see. Yeah, this is the play and shade portion. That's not going to amount to very much. So let's just fill that in. Oh, there we go. This is why do this bit bigger than you think. Cause yeah, I ended up with such a little bitty shine part there. 
but we know it doesn't matter. It's all good. I could come back with a uh, a white gel pen afterwards and make that a little bit bigger if I wanted to. This one is neat because whoops. <laughs> um it just has such a nice kind of an elegant neat look and I don't well this is just me all the way through I'm like that looks awful <laughs> you know, whoops knocking stuff over that you know I was like uh, okay well trust in the process it's all good it's all good I'm telling myself right now as I'm doing this it's like I know it's gonna turn out neat it always does but this is one that I it's just it's cool extra cool in that way and is just a um I guess a testimony to the just wait till it's done have patience it'll all be okay try not to think about it oh all right now for some shading and I want to check oh yeah she did so number one it's nice to do these overs and unders right so let's do that And I am turning the tile so that way I can not reach over like this because this one has kind of got a fat end there. Look at how neat that looks. Oh, all right. Then, of course, where things gather. So right here. Now, you wouldn't have to because you're kind of doing the shading with the pen. But I think it accentuates it just a little bit. Actually, all of this we could so let's do that do one at a time oh that looks neat yeah and then here and here well I know I'm gonna do it so I might as well just do them all okay The one thing I was thinking about with this is that I, I kind of like to have a little differentiation between this, you know, and these, but let's see. So it still looks okay, but let me just, you know, share with you one thing. Well, one thing that you could do is if you have a, you know, a darker graphite pencil, like a, you know, a 6B, 9B, that kind of thing. But if you also have a colorless blender, uh, yeah, let's accentuate this part. I don't know if you can even see that that made it darker. Well, here I don't have to worry about it so much, but let's go right here. So looking at it this way, I'm just being careful to only see how it made it darker. It's just amazing. Oh, and I didn't put any down here, but I should. Because it's going into something. You just can't see it because it's off the page. But it's a really neat tool to have if you already have it for your colored pencils. Um, it is just a little extra neat for, uh, the, for the graphite. You know, and here, this might even help if I pull it up a little further. I don't know. It's one of those things. Just play with it. And it it's fine either way. It really is. Then if you want to, and I think I do, I'm going to use what's left on the Tortillon. See, and look at how th that just adds such a neat curve to it. So we're going to do that. Oh, and over here too. And this is just one of those things where as long as you have enough space so that way you can leave some of your natural tile color, you can. And mine is, I think it might as well. Let's do it on top of here. I'm always evaluating is because I don't want to have the graphite remorse uh, from doing stuff. But look, at that just made it all shine. I don't know, the top one, because of the way this is, it, it looks like a tangle critter to me. You know, you know it kind of has a swan or something looking 
uh, or look to it. Or like we have the Tangle Sprinkle that um, is similar, you know, where we have, have this, you know, it's, it, and we have the little hat on top. There's a little more to it, but it just makes me think about that. Oh, such a neat tangle. Really, really cool. Well, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, um, please click to subscribe to the channel. All right. In the description section, I mentioned links to the step outs. You will find them. And below that, you will find my link tree. And that has, you know, all, all kinds of links, resources, things like that for you. Um, if you are interested in tangling online with other tanglers, we do this every most, well, every Thursday, I have a couple exceptions and I do have one here in September at the time of this recording, uh, coming up because we have our tangle con that, that will be starting on a Thursday. And, uh, so I'm going to be shifting that one over to Wednesday, probably the Wednesday just prior, but we still do it. Um, just like I said, every once in a while, if schedule needs, uh, needs it to change it does uh, but it's free it's an hour we might we might take a tangle like this and just play with it and see what kind of fun we want to have with it so come join us um and as uh, yeah information is is in the link tree uh as well as where's it where, uh places to follow me for classes so if you're interested in tangling online um besides the one that's listed there I do post them on my Facebook page. I'm going to work to maybe see if I can post them other places. And I have some other things in the works um, uh, for ease of, uh, you know, finding and having reminders about uh, classes and stuff like that. So those are on Thursday. I do have other ones that are on Tuesday. They usually have a fee um, or I have one that is a club member exclusive and uh, information is in the link tree about the club. The last thing I want to highlight is if you would like to uh, join our join us online, if you happen to be on Facebook, we have the Tangle Addicts community group and uh, would love to have you come and join us and join in the, the fun of tangling and sharing and oh, it's just it's so much fun. Um, there are four questions that you have to answer in order to gain entry. I always like to make sure to mention that and that's it. So. Like I said, everything else on that link tree is self-explanatory and I think that's it. So thank you again so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.